Chinese laborers' contribution to the building of the Transcontinental Railway, the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, the killing 100 years later of Vincent Chin, and the Japanese internment camps of World War II. Key pieces of US history often left out of school curriculums. Kathleen Goulding is working to change that. A former public school teacher, she's now the co-director of the Yuri Education Project, working to create curriculums that bring Asian American history into schools. Most curriculum in the United States focuses on a dominant narrative of whiteness, and that has been typical in the curriculum for a very long time, for hundreds of years. New York State Senator John Liu has introduced a piece of legislation in an effort to alter that narrative. The bill that I have proposed in the New York State Senate will require the state education department to provide materials to all school districts throughout the state of New York and to require the inclusion of Asian American history in the school curricula. Liu says it's his top priority to pass this bill in the next legislative session. It's not just lawmakers here in New York pushing for Asian American history to be taught in schools. Similar pieces of legislation have been introduced in states including Wisconsin, Connecticut and Illinois. Illinois is expected to become the first state to require Asian American history to be a part of public school curriculums. Representative Jennifer Gongershowitz co-sponsored the TEACH Act. She presented the bill a day after six people of Asian descent were killed in an Atlanta area shooting spree in March. We cannot do better unless we know better. Empathy comes from understanding and that really starts with education. So it is absolutely the role of the General Assembly um, to ensure that Asian American history is taught in our classrooms. The hope is that greater education can stem the recent increase in anti-Asian hate and move this latest chapter of discrimination and violence to the history books. William Denzelow, CGTN, New York.